Welcome everybody to Statistics Understanding Chance. This resource builds on the previous resource, Describing Probability. Now as we know, many learners struggle with the concept of understanding chance. And so we're going to look at two main things, and that's going to be describing the sample set, and number two, expressing this as a fraction. Step one, draw the continuum on the board that we used in the last session. That's from impossible to certain and ask the learners to tell you about what happened in that previous session. Get them to recall it. Number two, describe to the learners that the chance of something happening can be described in a couple of different ways, but it's usually described as in a 0% chance, or a 100% chance, and somewhere in between, or a zero chance, and a one chance, somewhere in between, and then ask them where they think on that continuum, a 0% chance would fit in a 100% chance, or a zero, and a one, and just write those in on the board. And now we're gonna move into describing it as fractions. Step two, sample sets. Grab yourself a dice and simply ask the learners, what do you think I'm gonna roll? And then ask them to describe why they think that will occur. So now we're gonna talk about the sample set. So ask the learners, what are the possible outcomes of rolling the dice? Like how many different options can we have? That is the sample set. So they'll know that a 1 can be rolled, a 2, a 3, and so on, all the way up to 6. So our sample set are the numbers 1 through to 6. Next thing, ask the learners what are the chances of a 3 being rolled. And let them uh, talk about it and listen to what they say. And then bring them back to the sample set. You know, what's the total number of outcomes possible? Well, there's 6 possible outcomes. So the bottom number of our fraction is going to be a 6. That's the total number of things in the sample set. And how many of those things are a 3? Well, there's just one of them. It can only be one 3. So the answer is the chance of rolling a 3 is 1 out of 6. That's 1, that's the particular item in the sample set, and the bottom number is the total number of items in the sample set. And then you want to take that 1 sixth and write it on the continuum so the learners can clearly see it. So the chances of rolling a 3 are 1 sixth. Second thing you want to do is then ask them what words that we looked at in the previous session would best describe one sixth. And for me, off the top of my head, I'm thinking that perhaps unlikely might be a particular word that would describe the chance of rolling a three. And now we're going to ask the learners a slightly more complex question. Staying with the dice, we ask, what is the chance of rolling an even or an odd number? And if we come back to the concept of the sample set, we can see that although there are six possible outcomes, only half of these can be even, two, four, six, and only half of these can be odd, one, three, and five. So we have a total sample set of six with a possibility of three being either even or odd. So the answer is three, six. It's a three, six chance, or we can convert that to a half. Now, going back to our Continuum on the board, we can write three sixths in where it fits on the board so the learners can clearly see that this is halfway and you might write in 50% as well or 0.5 and begin to make connections between these different representations of chance. Just to re-articulate that, start with a sample set, what are the possible outcomes and then how many of those are going to meet the criteria. Okay, third and final thing. Let's ask them a really hard question. Let's ask them, what are the chances of rolling a number that are higher than two? So again, uh, get them to explain their thinking and what they think, and then let's go back to those basic points again. What's the sample set? Well, we know there are six possible options. How many of them are above two? Four of them are above two. So that's four over six. The chances of rolling, a, rolling the dice and getting a number that's larger than 2 is 4 out of 6, which is 2 out of 3, 2 thirds, and then write that on the continuum as well. And of course, let's ask them what word they think best describes that as well. Follow-up session. The plate full of the black and white counters can be used brilliantly to do this. You'd get each learner to work with a plate, and you'd get different combinations of black and white counters, and you'd ask them, what are the chances of drawing out a black or a white counter? And you just can continue to add complexity to this task as we go on. That's it. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.